Hey, it's me. I'm back. Lord, I put that a previous video on Colored Valley Cooks. Now, I didn't get to see anybody's comments because I had to delete it off of Colored Valley Cooks and post it to Real Southern Woman. What a bummer. Anyway, um, I wanted y'all to see my hair color and me taking it down out of the rollers. Um, it looks so much better. Oh, my gosh. I just look good with this color. I think it's what God intended me to have. Um, and like I said, if you're interested in the color, it is at, uh, L'Oreal Excellence 6R Light Auburn. And I'm sorry that I did that on the wrong uh, station thing earlier. Um, let me look at my camera. Hey, y'all. Uh, what was I going to do? I was thinking about doing something for y'all. I think I'm just going to let y'all look at me sideways, even if the lighting's not all that. Let's see if this is better. Is that better? A little better? Okay, I'm going to take them down. When I roll my hair, I use three different sizes. I use, this is a medium size, and I use it all along the top, and I roll it towards the way I want to brush it. That's about how big these are. And um, we'll count them as I take them out, so I, I'll know how many there are. There's one. I do all the top that way. Two. Whoops. Three. Oh, that was a big one, y'all. Pooped. Three. Four. I put them up as I go. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. I think this is one. Nine. No, that was a big one. Too big. And eight small so far. And I have to look at my little thing because it's got little round circles where the bigger rollers go. And you're supposed to put them in the right spot so that they heat up correctly, you know. I'll just count them when I get them out. I'm tired of counting. Anyway, and then in the back, I put bigger ones. And then where you have the little wispies, I put the smallest ones so that there's no just straight hairs poking down. So um, that's what I do. And then I brush it out. And y'all, my hair will keep the curl because my hair's got a little natural curl in it. And my hair will keep this curl for about at least three or four days. Um, so that's nice. I like doing it this way. My hair feels so much better after getting it colored. It's so much more silky and shiny and healthy feeling. Um, it's not like getting a perm. It really, I think, helps your hair to put color on it, especially if you're going gray and you've got that wiry, you know, hair, and you know what I'm talking about. It's much better to put color on your hair because it makes it silky smooth and um, let me turn it around like y'all see it. My hair gets really, really curly in hot rollers now. So I just take my hands and go through it. I don't really brush it out. I mean, you can brush it out if you're trying to, you know, look like they, if you're trying to tease it like an older woman does, or if you're trying to brush it out and look like they did in the, like the, uh, for, not 40s. Not 20s. You know what I'm talking about. Like Marilyn Monroe's time, more like the 50s, I guess. But lots of times since my bangs have gotten long, I will take it right here um, and I'll clip it. I'm going to turn it around so I can fix it because I can't look at y'all and the mirror at the same time. So what I do is I, um, I mean, you can brush it out some if you want to, like on the top. I just don't like it brushed out. I think it's prettier with the big curls in it. That's just the way I like it. I'm a big curl kind of girl, 80s, you know. I'm an 80s girl, so I like the big hair. I guess it just never leaves you from being a teenager, <laughs> what you got used to. And then I take little hair clips and I clip it around, so, around my face when I'm going to go cook or be on camera because if I don't, then I touch it too much. And I had to, you know, that's just something you have to do. 
So I usually take my fingernail and I pull this little part up right here so that the curl comes up with it. And I'll show you what I'm talking about up close. I take um, like my finger right here and I take my finger and I pull it up so all this kind of comes up with it because I just like the way that looks. That's just how I am. Mama always put combs in her hair uh, to show this part of her face because she always said it makes you look younger. She still wants to do it. Even today. I want to go see her today when we're done with our video. I really want to go see my mama. Um, if any of y'all have a hard time with your eyebrows, but you really do have eyebrows, you just ha you can't see them because of the color they are, go buy you some color. Use an a eyebrow brush like I did and, and color them. And quit having to pencil them in every day. Now, if you don't have eyebrows, you got to pencil them in. You don't have a choice. But if you have eyebrows and you just need to fix the color, then just color your eyebrows. It only takes a minute. You can buy the color for $7 and something. And put it on your eyebrows like I showed you. Don't put it all over your face or it'll stain your face. And then uh, color your eyebrows just a little bit darker. If you're blonde, then use a really light blonde, you know, dirty blonde color. Um, and it'll look good, and then you don't have to work so hard to get ready in the mornings. Um, I'm going to spray my hair. This hairspray is <laughs> amazing. I'll tell you what kind it is in a minute. I think I got it at like Ross or somewhere like that. in a nutshell. What y'all think? Isn't it pretty? I love this color. I miss it. I should have had it like this in the winter time because it's a, you know, darker. But this is really the color that my hair's been for years. That I really like the most. I'm going to go oh, I'll see it and then we'll uh, I got to get ready to cook with this little girl. And we'll bring y'all the, um, Let's see if y'all can see it in natural light right here, how pretty it is. Now, remember that right now, I just colored it. So, it'll lighten just a little bit as I wash it. And I don't follow the directions. When I color my hair, I get in the, I get in the shower and I actually wash it right then. And then, I condition it with the conditioner it comes with. And uh, so, anyway, that's what I do. But it will lighten as the days go by and every time I wash it again. So I got on some darker eyeshadow that I normally wear. It looks kind of crazy. But anyway, y'all have a wonderful day. And thanks for watching Real Southern Woman. And if you really wanted to say something in the previous video, because I did delete it uh, off of Colored Valley Cooks. And then I put it on YouTube and then posted it back to this channel. Mainly just because I couldn't leave it on Colored Valley Cooks. It was quite personal. Um then you can uh, just comment on here if you want to or comment underneath that one where I shared it. I will talk to you all later, and I'll check my comments later today. Love you. Bye. I think I'm going to go. I never can hit this button right. I have Renaud's kind of like my mama, and my fingers get cold, and so I have to friction them and warm them up before I can press the buttons on my phone and it works. And it's still not working.